we are brought straight from the Riyadh airport to Dafyomi for Lama Gimel, Sota 33. So the Gemara is discussing which, which things can be said in any language and which have to be said specifically in Lashon HaKodesh, specifically in Hebrew. So the Gemara tells us that Tfilah, the Mishnah said that Tfilah, the Amidah prayer, that can be said in any language. So what's the source for it? The Gemara asks, what's the source for it? The Gemara says, Rach that it's prayer, it's just a request for mercy. So therefore, whatever, 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 however you want to want, you can pray. What a beautiful idea. We saw this on the, on the, people pray in different languages, powerful idea. So the Gemara says, it's Fila B'Kol Hashem. Can prayer really be said in any language? A person should really not ask their, their, excuse me, who says, Oh, my Isha Adam Tsarach of Lush and Aramis. A person should not really ask their, a person should not really ask their prayers in Aramaic. Whoever says their prayers in Aramaic, the angels are not going to pay attention to it. The angels don't know Aramaic. So if that's the case, how can you pray in any language? You can't pray in Aramaic because the angels are, aren't going to be able to help you because they don't know Aramaic. So the Gemara says, so the says, oh, Kasha, it's not difficult. An individual can't pray in Aramaic because he needs the, he needs the prayers to be able to, uh, he needs the angels to help him with his prayers. But the tzibur, they can pray in Aramaic because the tzibur is so strong that they don't need the Aramaic, they don't need the help of the angels. So the Lord says, is it really the case that is it really the case that the that the ministering angels don't know Aramaic? Fatanya didn't we learn? Yochanan Kohen Gadol Shama Bas Kohen Beis Kodesh Kodeshim. Yochanan the the Kohen Gadol, he heard a heavenly voice coming out of the Holy of Holies, and what did the heavenly voice say? So Omer Mitzvo Talia the Azu Akha Karva Antiocha. He says that he heard that the that the uh, that the young Kohanim who went out to fight a battle against uh, that they went to Akha to fight a battle against Antiochus that they won. So we see that the heavenly voice came out and spoke in Aramaic. So who does the heavenly voice? Uh, obviously the angels. The Shuv Maisa the Shimon Tzadik. And also there was an incident with Shimon Tzadik. Shema Das called me based Kodesh Kodeshin. Shimon Tzadik heard the heavenly voice coming from the Holy of Holies. Shu Omer Betewas Abidata. And he said, Betewas Abidata, the Amar Sina Laisa Alechala, the Nera Gaskalgos, Ubatu Xerosev. And so what did Shimon Tzadik hear? What was the heavenly voice here? He heard that the heavenly voice came out and the heavenly voice had said that all your work that, that uh, people did, that they, that, they, that they thought that they were going to destroy Jerusalem, all that work was destroyed. The work of your enemies was destroyed. And the Aragas, Gas Kaldas was the king of the Greeks and his decree was canceled. And the Kasu Osa Shah, when Shimon Atzadah came out, they, they indeed found out that they wrote down the time and they, it was exactly that time that it, that uh, decree fell through. The Bulash and Arami Ayona, and he said, it, and the heavenly voice was said in Aramaic. So we see that the heavenly voice does no Aramaic. So the Gemara says, "Ubayi same Abaskal Shani, Bulashmi You could say if you want that Abaskal, even though the angels don't speak in Aramaic, but the heavenly voice is different because the heavenly voice is specifically done for people to hear. And so since it's specifically done for people to hear. Therefore, it was said in Aramaic. And we buy same Gabriel. It's really a similar answer that this was a specific angel who knew it. This was Gabriel. And Gabriel, the Amar Mar, Bal Gabriel, Blumdo Shivim Washam. Because we know from Joseph that Gabriel came and taught him 70 languages. That's how he defeated Paro, because he knew one extra language in Paro, and Paro didn't know Washam Kodesh. So, so Gabriel taught Joseph the 70 languages. Okay, so then the Gemara says, Kirkas Amazon can also be said in any language. The prayer after the uh, the prayer after the meals can be said in any, any language. How do we know that? Because it's Vachalta Vesavatu Beirachta. It's Hashem Al Kecha. You shall eat and you'll satisfy and you bless Hashem. 
Bless God in any language. Bless God in Arabic or in English. The Shavuos Eidus also has to be, can be said in any language. And the Shavuos Eidus is the oath that you say, I didn't take any, uh, I don't know any testimony about this matter. And how do we know that that can be said in any language? Because it says, which means Allah is the Kol Rashon Shishamas, any language that he hears. Shvuas Abitadon, an oath about that he says he doesn't have a deposit, that could also be in, in any language. Why? Asya Techatem is Shvuas Aedis. We learn it out from the Shvuas Aedis. They will never remember Washington Kaddish. And these prayers have to be said specifically. These things have to be said specifically in Hebrew. What are they? Mikro Bikurim. When a person comes to do the Bikurim, the Chalitza, a woman who comes to do Chalitza, Mikro Bikurim in the mission. Okay, and so the Gemara says, Mikra Bikurim Kate said, How do we know that Mikra Bikurim needs to be said specifically in Hebrew? And it says, The Anisa of the Amarta of Nea Shemo Kecha. It says, The Anisa of the Amarta of Nea Shemo Kecha. Ulawanu Omer. And by the Levim, it says, The Anu Alavim Vamu. So we simply have the same expression of the Anu Vamu, the Anisa of the Amarta. This is the idea that, this is the idea that. That it has to be specifically in uh, in Lashon Hakadosh. We learn it from the Levim. The Amru will call you Ish Yisrael. The Levim said, "Ma Ania Hamur Alau." I'm just like the Ania that said by the Levites is Lashon Hakadosh. Afkam Lashon Hakadosh. Also, the, by the Bikurim, it's Lashon Hakadosh. The Levim do fire me now. And how do you know the Levim themselves have to say it in in Lashon Hakadosh? Mar says, "Asya Kol Kol Mi Moshe." They learn that from Moshe. What says by Moshe? Ksev Hacha Kol Ram. It says by Moshe that Moshe the Berva came and then the call. Bala Wamba was just like by Moshe was in Washington Kodesh. I've come to Washington Kodesh. So too by the Levim, it's in Washington Kodesh. Yeah, that's specifically a Har Sinai. We're on our way to Har Sinai. It was specifically said by Har Sinai that, that Hashem spoke to Moshe at Har Sinai in Hebrew. You want to know what language? Oh, we have, uh, we have. Uh, what does the toast was say on the top? Oh, yeah, so that's what Pirish Rabbein Tam. Apshita, the Bishas Matan Torah, Nidu Moshe Rabbein. Could the Gemara assume? How do we know? Gemara says it has to be in, in Russian Akodesh because we weren't out from Moshe, which was at Har Sinai. But so how do we know Har Sinai was in Russian Akodesh? So it's, we're in Rama Gimel Abad Aleph, and we, uh, we're joined by our by our Chavar here from from Hashemonayim. Uh, so he's there. So how do we know specifically that, that Harsinai was a Russian question? Shita, obvious. Whenever it says Shita, you know it's not obvious. But if it was so obvious, they wouldn't need to say it. So the Gemara says Chalitza, Kate said, how do we know the Chalitza, that the woman who says, this is what you should do to the man who doesn't uphold the house of his brother, that how do we know that it has to be in Hebrew? So the Gemara says, well, now we have to go back to the Mishnah. Chalitza, because... It says, but Rabbi Huda didn't learn it out from the Gzir Shabbat to the Levim. Rabbi Huda learned it out from the word Kacha. So the Gemara says, What did the Rabbanan do with this word Kacha? So they, 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 they say the word Kacha is teaching us that the actions that she has to do is, are essential. Has anybody here ever seen a Chalitza? I've seen this, I've seen it. It's, uh, it I've seen it once in my life. It's, uh, it's an unbelievable ritual. To, to see. Rabbi Yehuda, he learns out that the actions are essential from the fact that it says, Miko, it could have said ko, instead it says kacha. Rabban and ko kacha or mashwa. Rabban don't learn anything out from ko kacha. The Gemara says on top of Rabbi Gimel and Mabez, Rabbi Yehuda, hi, va'anta va'amra my abedes. So the Rabban learned out the chalitza has to be Lashon HaKodesh from va'anta va'amra, but Rabbi Yehuda doesn't learn it out from that. Rabbi Yehuda learns out from kacha. So what does Rabbi Yehuda do with va'anta va'amra my abedes? We buy a little like Muriel of the It's so he says we need it. So he says we need that. The Antava Amra, we need it. Review this says we learn out from Max Air Shabbat, like Muriel of the to Lashon Akodesh. He says we learn from here to teach us that the Lavim need to say it in Lashon Akodesh. That the Lavim themselves need to say it in Lashon Akodesh. So the Gemara says, well, why don't the Lavim learn it out from Moshe? But they have called me Moshe. Why don't we, why don't, why does the Review to say the Lavim learn it out from Moshe Rabbeinu from Har Sinai? Mar says, Ani, Ani, Agamar, Kol, 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 Gamar. So, Gzair Shava, you have to have a tradition on it from, basically from Sinai. It's the second reference to Sinai in our, second reference to Sinai in our daft. So he says, you need to learn it out. You have, you have to have a tradition. And he had a tradition 
Yehuda had a tradition about Ali, Ali, he didn't have a tradition about Kol Kol. Yerusha bring, brings now a, a proof for, from the Bryce that Yehuda learns out that uh, that the uh, Rachos and Kolos that were said in our Grizim and our Eva were learned out from Gzeir uh, Shava from Chalitza, uh, uh, from the Ani uh, Amir by Chalitza, and not from Kol Kol. Tanya Nami Achi, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Kol Makom Shenemar, Kol Kacha, Ani Amira, Eno El Olashon Hakodesh. Whatever it says, Kol and Kacha and Ani Amira must be that it's a sign that's in Olashon Hakodesh. Kol, how do we know another source where it says Kol that it needs to be done in Hebrew by the Birkas Kohanim? Go to Varchu. You had a Kohen, are you? You had a Kohen. And how do we know Kacha de Chalitza and Kacha de Chalitza? And that teaches us the, the Kacha of Chalitza. And Aniyah of Amira do with him. So that's how you know the Rabbi Yehuda says that the Bryce is saying that he has Xerish about these words that they have to be in Hebrew to compare them. So now the Gemara said that the Mishnah said the Brachos and the Kolos, Kitzan, the blessings and the curses, how are they done? So, so the Mishnah said once the Jewish people pass, even Shabbat Yisrael, see, they once the, once the Bnei Yisrael crossed over the Jordan, they came to Mount Grizim and to Mount Ebal, and that was in the Shomron, next to Shlam in Elonema, in Elonema Reh. And it says, Halohema, the Eber Yarde. And then later on, it says, Vayabo Avram Barat Amakom Shlam Adagom Reh. So just like the Elonema Reh, uh, by, by Avram is by Shlam, so to the Elonema Reh, by Har Grizim and Har Ebal was by Shlam. So Tanur Rabban and the Gemara says, it says in the Bryce, uh, about when we look for the place of hard reason, our evil, how will him up Abra Yard? What does that pasuk mean? So it means may Abra will yard in the So Diver Rabbi Yehuda, Yehuda says they're on the western side of the of the yardin. So the western side of the yardin is is um, but is in the current state, and then it's far from the Jordan all the way to uh, the west. Moshe was standing on the eastern side of the Jordan. And so Aver Yarden, it means far away on the west side. So the Gemara says, well, Rabbi Huda is continuing to explain the boss. Like it says, Achre Derach Shemesh. What does that mean when it says Achre Derach Shemesh? It means those mountains that were so far away from the from the from the sun, which is Makom Shechama Zarachas, which is the place from where the sun is rising and coming to the world. Meaning to say those mountains that are found on the west and they're so far away from the east uh, where, this, where the, the sun rises. This refers to, when it says the Eretz HaKanani that's dwelling in the Arava, this refers to Mount Grizim and Mount Abel. That's nowadays where the Kutim are living. So the Samaritans, 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 Samaritans. I've been there. I've been there, and yeah. So that's where they live today. They live actually still right there today. Yeah, they still live there. So also the pasuk tells us Mua Gilgal. This is another sign. Samoch Gilgal. Next to a place that's called Gilgal. So Elone Mure. This is Shem. How do we know it's Shem? It says Elone Mure by Abora Abram Baritz Amakom Shem Ad Elone Mure. Ma Elone Mure. Hamor La Alon Shem. Just like Elone Mure by Abram is Shem. Afka and Shem. Tanya, I'm a Rabbi Elizabeth, or Rabbi Yossi, the Dabar says the Yafti Sifre Kusi. Wow. Wow. With this matter, I was able to disprove the Kutim and show that they were wrong. Show that their Sifre Torah of the Kutim was wrong. Wow. Why? Amar Tilem, the Yafti Torah I said, your Torah is false. The Roa Elitem Biyat from Kun. And you don't have, you don't have anything. You, you claim you have the true faith, you're wrong. Shatem Omen Elono Mure Shem. You say We also say We have a proof from the Pasik that we just cited. The Pasik of What's your proof? How do you know that you don't you don't you don't accept the concept of Xera Shaba? So how that's wrong. What's your proof? Yeah. What's your proof? So that's that's how we prove that. He says you need to rely upon Xerah Shabbat. You need to rely upon our rabbinic tradition. Wow. Maybe the laws are armor. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So that's what that's easy. Polemics. For, for, for 2,500 years, the world has been seeing polemics of interfaith polemics. Maybe the laws are armor. How will Hema behave in 
What, so he says, what does it mean? Hello, him of Abraham. And the first shot we saw was that it means far away from the Arde. That's that's the first shot we saw. That's the Brisa. That was Rabbi Yehuda. But Rabbi Lazar says, Samoch. It means Samoch Yarden, next to the Yarden. The Ime, Abraham, Yarden, the Elach, as if it was far away from the Yarden. When you cross over the Yarden, you have to set up the stones. And on those stones, you have to write the Torah. But you're supposed to do that right next to the crossing of the Yarden. So it must be that it was right next to it. Achrei Derach Mavo Hashemesh doesn't mean where the sun rises. It means Makom Shachama Shotas, where the sun sets. When it says Beres Akinani, why is it possible to say it's Eretz, the Canaanite land? Eretz Tibi, it's the Chiva land. So that's Shem was called the Eretz Tibi. Ayoshe Barava, what does it mean by Ayoshe Barava? I will be in Aram Bose Ayoshe, but isn't dwelling between the hills and the valleys. It's not dwelling in the plains. Mua Gogol, Valo Lo Raus a Gogol. They didn't see Gogol. The Mount Grisham and Mount Abel and Elomored aren't seeing Gogol. So clearly he's arguing and he's saying Elomored is not Shlem. It's right next to the Jordan. Wow. Rebbe Lezer and Yaakov Omer, Loba Kosov says, why is it possible giving us all these Simonim? It's hundreds of miles away. It's different. Not hundreds of miles. From Shlem to the Jordan? No, it's like okay. 10 miles. Right. Not even 10. No. So, far. Right. so we can ask. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, it's on a monkey, it's on a horse, two hours. If Lezim and Yalcom says, Loba Kosov, Ella, La Rosla, and Derech, Bashmiya. Why is the Pasuk have to tell us all the Simonim about where it is? To give them signs, Derech, Bashmiya, to tell them, because there were two, that after they crossed the Jordan, they needed to know how to found it. Derech, Shahar, and Berishona. So just like when the children of Israel left Egypt, they that when Moshe Rabbeinu stood there and and before he entered the earth throw that the cloud was there, it showed them everything where to go. But after they crossed the Jordan, they weren't going to have the cloud. And so therefore they need to have these simon to show them where to go. Therefore it says derach, bederach, follow the path. The lobus starters are coming, don't go off the path. Hayo shave, be yeshuv, it's in a city. It's not in the wilderness. Don't go to the mountains and the valleys. Oh, this is such a good How did the Bnei Yisrael cross the Yarden? We're going to be going tomorrow to the place where they cross the sea. But, but they also cross the Yarden. Just a, a, a very similar miracle. How did they cross the, the Yarden? When Joshua went in, the whole Yom every day, Aaron will say, Ahashnein to go on. Every day the Aaron would follow after the two camps of Ruben and Shimon. But this day, Nasa Tchila, the Aaron went first, went in front of all the Tudor. As I say, it's Aaron Abris, Adon Koarat of Erechem. The Ark of the Covenant is going before you. The goal, the only Yom of him knows him as Aaron. Every day the Levites were carrying the Ark. But this day the Kohanim carried it. As it states, the Kohanim's feet were, were on the ground. There are three places where the Kohanim carried the ark. When they crossed the Jordan, when they walked around Jericho in order to conquer it, when they returned the ark in the time of Shlomo Melech and the city of David to its place in the Holy of Holy. Uh, so the okay, so the Brisa uh, continues on top of our And once the Kohanim's legs touched the water, then the water went back. It stopped. It stopped. It's splitting, as it says. So the 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 sea split until. The the uh, Kohanim put their feet down and when they had crossed over, then the sea went back. Gemara is going to discuss it tomorrow's stuff. Well, then how did the people get across? That's going to be the good question. We'll stop the recording here. So basically, the Anamea covered 